Lesson three, the white corners. Our cube should look like this now. We have a white cross in place, and now we're going to complete the white side by putting the white corners in the right space. This is where we learn our first algorithm. Algorithm is just a fancy word used to describe a set of moves. Don't worry, it's not complicated. You'll get the hang of it. We're going to use a few algorithms depending on where the corners are. Your guide will show you which algorithm to use. For this lesson, it might be best to put the cube down and watch the whole lesson first, and you can see how to move the corners into place. Once you've watched it, you should be able to pick up the cube and work your way through using your guide. Let's get going. Position, white center on top, sides to move, right, left, bottom. Now, each time you do the stage before, you may already have one of the corners in the correct position. Sometimes this happens, sometimes not. Now. We need to find where the white corners are. They could be in one of four spaces. They could be on the top row. They could be on the bottom row. They could be underneath, or they could be on the top level, but in the wrong position. You can see the red here and the green don't match up. What we want to have is a white corner on the bottom row. If you don't have one there already, don't panic. We'll show you how to get there shortly. Bear with us. Remember to use your guide as this will show you the moves to back up these videos. It will matter if it is on the left side or the right side, but the guide explains which moves to do, whether it is left or right. Let's say we already have one on the bottom row. If we look around the corner, you can see that mine is red. If I face the red towards me, all I'm gonna do is rotate the bottom round until it lines up with the red center. If I face the white back towards me, I know that I just need to pop it up to get it in position. Now, let's look at that again. It didn't look right. I didn't respect the law. You can see, as I move the corner up into position, I move the white edge out of position, so the white cross is no longer there. We need to remember that when we make a move, it could affect something we have already done. So for this move, we know where we want to get it to, but we need to make sure that we don't mess up what we've already done. So let's drop it back down. To be able to get it into this position, all we need to do is move it off our line of rotation, drop the right down, move it back into position and pop it back up. So we know it's in the right position because the green corner piece matches the green center piece and the red matches the red. Let's recap that last bit to make sure we understand and we'll use the correct terminology, the algorithm. We line the red up with the red center. We face the white towards us. We work out our line of rotation and then we move the bottom left, the right down, the bottom right and the right that's our first algorithm done. Remember, all the algorithms are on our guides, so it's good to have them to hand. In that last move, the white piece was on the right side. Let's look to see what we do if it's on the left side. So we look around the corner, mine's green. I line it up with the green side. Face the white towards me, we know where we want it to go. So we move the bottom right, the left down, the bottom left, and then the left up. And you can see it's in the right position because they match up here. Got it? Honestly, after playing around for a little bit, this will become simple. Now, let's look at it if it was not on the bottom row. So it could be here. It looks like it's in the right space but these colors don't match up, so we know that it's not. We need to move it into the bottom row so we can get it into the correct position. So we're gonna use a different algorithm for moving it onto the bottom row. We can see that it's in the right position, so we just need to use the right algorithm. Right down, bottom left, right up. So now it's on the bottom row. If we turn it round, it's orange and it's already matched up with the orange center. So we face the white towards us and we do that algorithm for the right. So bottom left, right down, 
bottom right right up and as you can see the blue matches up with the blue center and the orange matches up with the orange center we now need to look if the white piece was on the top row because it's on the left side we need to use the left algorithm left down bottom left left up and you can see that it's put it onto the bottom row if we turn it round we can see that it's red here so we just rotate it round to match up to the red center and then we face the white towards us it's on the left side so we do that algorithm bottom right left down bottom left left up and you can see it's in the right position because it matches up with the centerpiece. If you are following us so far, you're doing great. Don't worry if you're not. You can always start the video from the beginning and start again. Last one now. So we need to find the last white piece. And it's underneath. What we need to do is line it up with the blank one on the white side. So if we rotate it around here, here's the blank space and here's the white piece and we follow this algorithm. Right, down, bottom, right, right, up. And if we turn the cube, we can see that the white piece is on the bottom row. If we look around the corner, it's red. So we just rotate it round until it matches up with the red center. We face the white towards us and we follow the left algorithm. Bottom, right, left, down, bottom, left, left, up. And as you can see, the white row is complete and they all match up with the centerpiece. It may seem like there's quite a few algorithms to learn here. Don't worry, it will take a while to get used to, but soon enough, you'll get the hang of it. It's a good idea to always have your guys to hand as all the algorithms are there, with pictures to show you which one to use. The algorithm used will be on screen after each one, so you can pause and read them off the screen as you do them. Now, we've completed the white side. Practice the daisy, practice the white cross, and practice completing the white side a few times, as once you're comfortable with this, you'll be ready to move on, and we'll see you for lesson number four.